After buying a new computer, one of the first things you'll probably want to do is to get all the stuff you need from your old computer onto your new one. Hi, I'm Tetsu Yamada, a writer on the Windows team. Today, I'm surrounded by computers because I'm going to show you how to transfer files, folders, and settings from an old computer running Windows XP, Windows Vista, or even Windows 7 to a new computer running Windows 7. You can transfer things like documents, photos, videos, music, internet favorites, email messages, and more from your old computer. About the only thing you can't transfer are programs. Before you start a transfer, you need to do a few things to get ready. First, log on to both computers as an administrator. Next, install Windows Easy Transfer on your old computer. To do this, you can go to your new computer and use Windows Easy Transfer to guide you through the process, or you can download it from the Microsoft website. And finally, you need to decide how you want to transfer information. You can use an external hard disk or a USB flash drive. Just make sure that the disk or drive is big enough to store the information you want to transfer. Or, if the computers are close together, you can use a special USB cable called an Easy Transfer Cable. You can order this cable online or from your computer manufacturer or purchase one at a computer store. If both computers are on a network and can access the same folder, you can transfer files across a network. Okay. Now that we've taken a look at how to get ready for a transfer, I'm going to show you how to use this external hard disk to transfer information from this old computer running Windows Vista to this new computer running Windows 7. First, I start Windows Easy Transfer on both computers. Then, I go to my new computer and select the method of transfer, in my case, an external hard disk. I then click This is my new computer and answer a few questions. At this point, I need to go to my old computer and attach the external hard disk. I select the same method of transfer and click This is my old computer. Windows Easy Transfer scans the computer and automatically selects all of the user accounts, file types, and program settings it can transfer over. Now I can make changes if I want to. My wife won't be using this new computer, so I don't need to transfer her user account. I can also click Customize and clear the checkboxes next to anything I don't want. If I want, I can add a password to the transfer file I'm saving. Once I'm ready, I choose where on the hard disk I want to save the transfer file, and the transfer starts. Don't worry about deleting anything from your old computer. You're just copying what you want to your new one. Now that I'm done saving the transfer file from my old computer, I go back to my new computer and attach the external hard disk. I continue where I left off in Windows Easy Transfer. Open the transfer file I saved on the external hard disk, and then click Transfer. Once it's finished, I can see exactly what I transferred and also see a list of programs that I might want to install on my new computer. And that's it. I'm done transferring what I wanted from my old computer. Depending on the method of transfer you choose, the steps you see might be a little different than what we saw here. But Windows Easy Transfer will help guide you through the process of getting the files and settings you need from your old computer to your new computer running Windows 7.